I think Republic Pictures took a look at the numbers that came back on It's About Time and thought we, we should take another round on this. The mandate, actually the aspiration, I think, was is there a way to get us out of the suburban home that has been at the core of an Amityville story? I think the show would be fun. And see if we can do something urban, perhaps younger. The impetus for the story was the mirror. And that was an object we thought was cool. Now, mirrors have been used and they've been great devices in stories, both horror films and, and obviously literature for, for millennia. So um, we're trying to think what, what does a mirror really do for us? And then we ended up looking at a frame and realizing the frame was... Maybe within the mirror there can be a frameworks for art. And somehow we got this idea that we could just uh, set this thing in kind of a, of a... At the time we were working in San Francisco, we call it South of Market San Francisco, which is really a, sort of an artist community there. And then the idea was, so what, are, what do artists really fear? And, and when, you, when you really answer that question for yourself, honestly, you know, artists fear not being noticed. They fear mediocrity. They fear, they fear not counting, right? Um, those are hard things to, to sort of channel into a horror film. Uh, but we tried. Okay, very quiet, please. So on set of that movie, you know, these pictures were made under tremendous pressure. We had 24 days to shoot this movie. Um, and we had enormously complex gags. I mean, John has a great ambition as a director. And he's sort of a little bit of a tech head, too. He likes the toys that come with that. And so we, every day we had some other crazy rig. Uh, you know, either something was flying on a gimbal or some character was on a bed with a camera strapped to their stomach. Um, so we, had, we, had, uh, we, we got a crew together that was into that. And, uh, you know, uh, you like to point to Wally Fister, who's a, now a DP who's quite accomplished did a lot of Chris Nolan movies. He was our DP on that. He brought a beautiful light to it. Um, what was it? A Y1 quarter CTO. That's his filter pack, I'm telling you right now. And he would yell it out every morning before we got to the set. Um, and then he had, but he also rose to the challenge of all the trickery that's in that movie. There's a lot of really, you know, take a look at that film. There's a lot of great in-camera visual effects work that uh, I'm pretty proud of. And here we go, Keith. Action, go for it. He's flying, Mom. It's been 25 years. I've been lucky enough to be part of a lot of movies. That one has a very special place for me. The people that worked on it, I got to know really well. Uh, we, some of them remained long friends, as John has. I also learned so much as, an, as a professional about trying to do something ambitious and do something different, both what the wonder and greatness can come with that, but also the pitfalls and what you have to be worried about. So actually, oddly, that movie, as many as, as, as much as any movie I've ever worked on, uh, informed me and certainly formed me as a professional, which makes me think sometimes that I'd love to, like, remake that movie. You know, like, rewrite it a little bit, make it, you know, get rid of some of the things that didn't work, but take another pass at it, another swing at it, too, because I really, I really love the ambition of it. For me, when, I, when I'm talking about the pitfalls, I'm talking about creatively. That, and this is stuff that would go to people that want to, anybody out there that wants to make movies. You know, you set the bar pretty high. You try for something that hasn't been seen before. And if you don't have everybody on board, 100% the people you're working with, including actors and including a studio, uh, it's pretty, pretty tough to, to climb up the hill. So what I learned on that is that as a producer, execution is one thing, but being able to sell what you're trying for to sell your dreams is just as important. Mm -hmm.